hello everyone and in this video we are going to learn how we can create this stacking effect so if i scroll down you can see that it slowly starts stacking and this is the first version and then this is the second version and i'll tell you the difference between them the second one is much more smoother but i'll uh, tell you the difference and obviously i'll also show one more method in which if you don't want to create this like uh, overlay effect not overlay but this offset effect if you just want to have like a simple normal one in which the previous one are not shown i'll also show that so in the first one the effect the way it works is that you could see right now the size is same so you can see till now the size is same but if i scroll down it will just pop up to the lowest size it can be and then you could see it is not doing anything it is being consistent like this and until the second one reaches it reaches till like this point like this but in the second version what it does is if i scroll down you can see it will slowly start getting smaller so instead of it actually being like the same size until it's like around here it will keep getting smaller as you keep on progressing so you can see now this two would get smaller slowly and slowly so as we keep scrolling down you could see it keeps like this consistent uh stacking effect not stacking but like this scaling and scaling down effect which is pretty easy to do so let's get started so the first version which i'll show you it would be like without this offset so without having like the previous one showing so i'll just create a container we can give it like any size we want uh let's just do like this instead of this i'll add another container i'll make this one smaller just so that it's easier to easier to uh, like wave on this tutorial you don't have to do this you have to just uh do whatever styling you want so first one i'll make it red now this one i do recommend to use like vh instead of like pixels and all because it just makes it easier to configure stuff vh is basically viewport height so you can think of it as a percentage so if i do 100 it would be like the 100 percentage of this size if i do 50 it would be half of this size so let's try with 50 okay so let me just duplicate this one and let me make the second one something like green color and then the third one we will do something like a blue color okay at the end of this container or if you have elementor pro you could actually use in your custom css and if you want to get elementor pro the link is in the description and again it comes up with like lots of cool features along with like free templates so if you go in here you could see it already comes up with elementor templates so use the links below and you will get like lots of free and paid templates too so the thing is we will add our html because we do not have elementor pro I do have Elementor Pro, but I am making it in a way that it would work without having Elementor Pro too. This would be our code. It can be anywhere on the page. It's ideally it should be at the end of this containers. For CSS it doesn't matter, but for JavaScript it does matter. So make sure it is at the end. We will type style like this, and then we want to add our CSS in here, but we do not have any way to target this containers. So we'll go into our container go go in our css class and i'll call this as so this for this css class let's just call it like dm stack card something like this and i'll keep adding it for all of my containers like this and remember this is for the non stacking version okay so this would stack but it would not have this offset and in the html we will just type our code which is dm stack cards open curly brackets type position sticky i already have a video on how position sticky works on my uh, like this channel it would allow you to do lots of sticky effects that you want if you have elementor pro you could actually just go in here and then uh in the motion effects i believe you could actually just do sticky and it would still work but this one works with everything like this but it's not just giving position sticky means it would work we also need to give from which location it should stick so i want my this container to be sticking after let's say 100 pixels from top like this so right now you could see we have already gotten this stacking effect if you do not see it in here just go and do preview changes as long as it works in the live page it's good 
so you can see uh, obviously because we are at the top so it, let's just add some like random content around here so that we can see it in full action i'm using the scroll bar because my scroll is a bit buggy so if i go down you could see from the 100 pixels from top it would get sticky like this which is pretty cool obviously i'm not able to go like down because of this stuff i'll quickly just add one like this stuff to scroll okay so this is how it looks basically from 100 pixels offset but now remember i said to use like vh right and this allows us to make it like easy to make this container in the center so if i go in let's say create like a quick explanation let's say if this is your screen and then this is our container which is 50 vh like this if we think this as a percentage then it would mean that this is like 25 if we want it to be in center and this would be like 25 so that would make it in the center so if i just go in my html and then if i do like 25 vh like this let's do preview and you can see that right now this container is in center like this so obviously if this was like 70 vh so i don't know if i can just okay there we go if this was like 70 vh then we know that we have 30 percent left right so because 70 plus 30 is 100 so we can just do like 15 vh at the top and 15 vh at the bottom and that way it would be in center that allows us to like keep it in center pretty nicely and also keep the containers in like same sizing so this was how we actually created like stacking effect without having the offset and for the offset method which is this one we are using gsap to make it like make our work easier uh one more thing i want to show you before we proceed if you do not want to use gsap we can actually use like another method too so if i go in here and type dm stack let's do nth child and then do one so if remember how all of our containers have the css class dm stack cards this one also has dm stack cards when we use nth child it means that which one we want to target so out of all the dm stack cards we want to target the first one so which is this one if you type 2 in here it would be our second one so if i do preview it would only work for the first one like this this one is like an easier method but it is it, it does not have like much animation and has some issues which i'll show you so right now it looks nicer but you could see all of this are not stacking or uh, sorry sticking but these two are just basically this one is the only one that is sticking so what we can do is we can copy this and then let's do three and then we could do is we could type calculate which is calc in the curly bracket we could do 25 vh plus 10 pixels so two space let's do 20 pixels like this and basically what we are saying that uh, rather than sticking from 25 vh we want to do 25 vh plus 10 plus 20 pixels at the bottom so if i just copy this one and then paste in here and this one i'll do 40 because we want to do like 20 plus 20 like keep on going like this let's see what would happen if we do this we can create this stacking effect without the scaling effect okay and also i'm not sure why obviously this one just gets like this you see it gets covered so if you don't want to have let's say maybe this con this like what you call this container just makes it like into one single container after you scroll down if you don't want this stacking effect after the end you could use like this method but if you want to keep stuff like this then we will need to do is another thing which is we, we can use like this same stuff everywhere so let's just copy this one around here like this and then we could do is let me just scroll down to show you guys so the first one should be normal but if i do transform translate uh for x axis we do not want to do anything and for uh, which which one is it uh y axis we want to move it a bit below like this and then if we go around here we want to do 40 pixels so let's see you might not see the changes happening around here instantly because sometimes when you use nth child it does not work with uh, elementor on the editor
you could see obviously if i let's say add some color in here let's do like a light gray you will see some issue that we can simply fix by adding like top and bottom padding so you could see if i go down go down go down you could see it's slightly outside so you just need to add like padding at the bottom and it would work and this way it would not just you know it would keep it would keep this offset slides there so that is one method if you don't want the scaling down effect and make sure you just keep adding this like 40 60 70 uh, like in 20s or whatever the difference that you want so i'm just going to delete everything because right now we will go and start making this one obviously i'm not going to teach you how to make like this container like this so i'll just copy this one so that we have the styling or maybe let's just keep it like this okay why not i'll add some padding at the top like 100 100 at the bottom now for this first version let me just check what i have used so we have dm gsap cards so the code that i'm going to give you right now would require you to use this uh, css class and that is for the first version okay this is not for the second version so remember that so let's go to our first container and then add that let's add that and then let's add our third one might as well add two more to give like the full idea and this one would work like nicely until you have 10 cards but after you have 10 cards it might not work and obviously i don't see why you would need like 10 cards to show but you could check it out if it works or not with 10 cards or more so right now all of them have the css class G dm gsap cards okay now i am going to give you guys this code that is available in the description on my website i'll copy this and then paste it in here and let's see if it works or not okay so let's give it a try first so it does not okay you could see it does not work and that is because at the last one i have given an extra class which is called dm gsap cards end so whichever is your last container you should add space at the end and then add this one like this and let's see in the preview if that works no it does not i'm going to try doing updating and seeing if that works okay so updating worked the preview changes was not working and you can see there is some slight issue happening okay so a jump cut to this part i guess but i actually found some issue with my code but i'll i just updated it so i just worked on like fixing it but this was the issue <laughs> you could see the last one was like not working well if the size was like 50 vh so this is the fixed version so let me just copy this fixed code let's do uh, sometimes wave changes is not showing the updated javascript for some reason so i'm just going to do update and let's give it a try uh i accidentally removed this too so let me do update again so let's see if that works please and yep it works uh, there is like slight uh moving at the end ideally i would want it to like just stop at this part like this but it slides a bit i don't think that's going to be that big of a deal we can easily fix that by playing around with the which is like this one so rather than zero percent we will need to do like some minus something minus okay so you will need to play like minus 10 minus 5 or something uh but it works it's not that big of a deal if it slides a bit like this if you want to see the markers just make the markers to true and let's do update this would enable the markers to show and this is where it would start getting sticky like this you could see it is getting sticky at that part and then it goes till this slides a bit like this okay and then if i do false like this it would hide the markers but then we have another uh what you call another uh stuff for this animation which is making it smaller when we leave so you could see if we go in here let me like copy it in my notepad so that it's faster to weave 
in here if we check like on enter we need to do this and on leave back we need to do this so if we do let's say marcus true around here which is like the se second uh, gsap code scroll trigger code let's do update and this one is different so when this one touches this one it uh, makes the makes this animation which is it makes the opacity smaller and the scale to smaller and i've used like variables or like some calculations around here that way if you have like 10 elements then each one would have like the last one would have like 0.9 then 0 0.8 0 0.7 like this which is why if you have 10 then it might not work like very well because at the end it's just zero right because 0 0.9 0 0.8 0 0.7 like that like that then opacity would just be zero around here if you have like 10 elements but right out i haven't tested but uh i don't know it works for like the five seven six eight stuff like this okay and if you want to add anything else if you know gsap you could add the code around here and on leave back we want to make it like uh the default size which is like if it's small we want it to get to the default size and you could see for this one the start is at the next element for this one the start is at the next element like this pretty cool works nicely and this is how the first version works i really like the second version so that's like the best version i think so it's similar so let me just check what i have even done first so this one have different css class because again different code right so i had to keep like different css class so if i go in advance type dm stack cards instead of the gsap cards like this let's keep adding this and it took me like a while to like make this code okay so please like and subscribe share it and anything it took like much more time because i'm also like new to gsap so i'm also trying to like figure out by googling stuff and all and lots of the tutorials are online but not like this good like the code was like like not this good so i was able to manage this and make this so you could see this one we use the same method that i showed in like the first one not the first one like this one i don't mean this one but the one that i showed before this one which was uh, how to cook it without this offset value we used like the same code which is like the top value like this and you could see i have used like top value let me just paste it in here you could see i have used like the top value is 15 vh because in this one i have used like 70 vh of my container so obviously the top is 15 bottom is 15 if i want it to be in center position sticky this is all and all but this is one thing you want, guys need to know is if you are going to add more than five cards if you are let's just paste it first and then i'll explain okay so i'll go in my html and then paste it let's do preview and see what happens nope it is scaling up why is it scaling up <laughs> it is scaling up instead of scale is it scaling up or is it same never mind it is same i was just getting an illusion i guess i'll click update and see uh the reason why this is not working i know exactly why because i want to add this script you guys might uh, you guys don't need to do this step because i think i will fix it in the code but basically we need to trigger the gsap library and you don't need to add this again and again which is why on this page i had only added once and not in this one if i go down slowly slowly and it is not working so why is it not working okay so i again messed up some code so let me just update the code i only did like one thing that is i did this windows add event load which basically like just if the page is loaded and then uh, the javascript is added i'll update the code in description so don't worry let's do preview right now if i scroll down you could see right now it just works nicely keeps on going keeps on going a uh, bit something to scroll i was like messing around the code to figure out the issue and you could see it works nicely this one is like the better option out of all of the three options that i've shown like this works nicely stacks like this and all you simply need to do is uh, make sure the gap is set to zero like this in your main container the gap is zero 
and then in here make sure that if you want to add another thing so if i let's say duplicate this one so right now i have one two three four five six so for the sixth one i just copy this one like this add six in the nth child because we want to control the sixth one and then make this one go from 80 you could see 20 40 60 80 and i'll do 100 so if you wanted to have like different spacing you could like do 10 20 30 40 50 if you want more spacing 30 60 like if you want 30 spacing then just do multiples of 30 40 spacing multiples of 40 and that would just work so let's just update i'll also add like a better color so that we could see it better like this so let's see i will also be providing a template for this so don't worry if you want to test it out if the code has some issue or if you have if you just want to use the template like this and you would say it just works nicely yeah this one this tutorial was like bit <laughs> like a mess because i had to fix the code two times so yeah that's all and again if some issues still persist i will up keep updating the code and simply comment any issues that you face if there are any i'll try to fix it and update the code as we progress okay so yeah thanks for watching goodbye share and like and that's all